So the head of them, so the head of the village, the magistrate, persuaded them to build a wall all around the village. The wall was strong and high, with the gate that could be locked. Now everyone felt safe, and also soundly at night. The magistrate was especially proud of the wall. Every night, he walked all around the wall to the fire. How clever was I to think of the wall and how beautiful it is. But one evening, she noticed that the wall was no decoration. Perhaps it is a little plain. The next morning, we called a meeting of the village elders. Our wall is very strong and protects us well. However, <coughs> I have decided that we should have it decorated. We should have a portrait of the dragon king. He brought our wall. He controls the thunder and lightning and can bring us straight for our field. Exactly what I've been thinking. Chen Zhang, the most famous dragon king to this in the city, I will gladly go after the result. It was that, and the elders set out that same day. Three days later, two figures were spied approaching the village. The magistrate heard it to the gate. Chang Zheng was riding a little horse with a big box tied on behind the saddle. The magistrate bowed to Chang Zheng and then led him into the village. Before I start, I want your promise that I may paint your dragon in my own manner, and that you will accept it. You must also pay me 40 silver coins. We agree to your conditions. Chang Zheng then opened the box of paints and ocean and started to work. He began on the left side of the wall, carefully drawing the dragon's gate, tail. He painted steadily for days and days. Everyone in the village watched from every day. And the magistrate, of course, watched all day. Very important. They don't have the, 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 the long body of the dragon and the on the wall. Finally, the painter reached the right side of the gate, and the dragon's head met its tail. The painting is magnificent. Yes, the heavenly king will be pleased. Now that I have finished, I will now accept your payment. Forty silver coins is no small amount to the dragon. We must first look at your dragon and make sure he is as he should be. <coughs> John consented, starting at the tail. He led the magistrate around the wall, with the other villagers following. The dragon's body was covered with fiery red scales, like those of a fish. The magistrate counted carefully to be sure there was just 81 scales in each row, because 81 is 9 times 9, and 9 is the lucky number. You'll notice the feet on each of the four legs. They have the paws of a tiger and the claws of a hawk. Of course, your dragon has four claws on each foot. Only the emperor's dragon may have five. As he walked all around the wall, the dragon's body was bigger and bigger. The scales off the lungs back looked like a roll of mountains. Finally, they arrived at the great head with heavy, shaggy eyebrows, with horns of a deer, the ears of an ox, sharp tusks in the mouth, and a pointed beard with long, streaming bristles. Under his chin, a large pearl glistened with all the colors of the rainbow. The dragon was so bad and beautiful that no one made a sound. Now, the money, please. But wait! You have not finished! The dragon has no eyes! It would be dangerous to paint eyes on this dragon. And you promised to accept him as I painted him. I think we should listen to the painter. Surely he knows best. Our dragon must have eyes! The silver coin shall not leave my hand until you painted them. Very well, if you insist, even though you're breaking your word, the consequences will be of your own making. The painter quickly filled in the empty space of the deep shaggy eyebrows. Then he took the bag of coins to the magistrate, kept his paints and brushes, and went up to the sword. Chang Zhang then took the bag of coins to the magistrate, and the magistrate bowed to Chang Zhang. Suddenly, he moved! The dragon shook himself, and little cracks appeared in the wall. The black cloud moved overhead. It zigzagged across the sky. There was a loud clap of thunder. 
dragon shook himself again on the screen and rose up into the air and disappeared into the black cloud. The wall crumbled and fell into pieces! Ah! Hurry! Hurry, my horse! Those fools! Those fools! <laughs>